One October evening, I steal outside to breathe, release my swirling thoughts, around my head they wreathe. Smell the midnight roses and tinkle the wind chime. Regard the jasmine plant. I'm training it to climb. Crisp October evenings, I feel enchantment deep. Inspire me again. Infuse my dreams in sleep. Welcome back to the Daily Connoisseur. We had our first rain of the season today, and the flowers returned in gorgeous bloom to celebrate. It's earlier in the day now, and I'm making a creamy tomato tortellini soup for lunch. But first, I will lay the table. These everyday rituals, I've done them a million times. Preparing the table never gets old to me. And now to get started on the soup. I saute one chopped onion in olive oil in my giant soup pot. I also add a sprig of rosemary to deepen the flavor. Once the onion is softened, I add chicken stock, diced tomatoes, tomato puree, and heavy cream, and season this all with salt and pepper. I'm going to let that simmer on low for 20 minutes while I take care of the laundry. I find that homemaking has so much to do with time management and optimizing every moment you have. It's a choreographed dance, but once you get into the flow, it is enjoyable. I just can't forget I'm cooking something on the stove. And now back to the soup. I'm going to chop a large bushel of spinach to add to the soup. Then I add the tortellini, and some extra basil. And I let this cook for 12 more minutes. When it's finished, I ladle the soup into bowls and I top with Parmesan cheese.
This is being served with a deliciously robust flavored brown bread with Irish butter. Could there be a better fall luncheon? And now it's time to put on my gloves. I have an ongoing project to scrub the baseboards. I usually start this time of year so that by Thanksgiving, they look shiny and new. I find that using a magic eraser works best on the kitchen baseboards, which tend to have grease and grime sticking to them. I soak the magic eraser in water and squeeze it out. If there's a lot of stuck on grime, I add a bit of dish soap. This is one of those rather unpleasant tasks. Nowhere near as satisfying as laying the table. But I have a treat in store for myself after this, so I can carry on scrubbing. Time to restore my senses to beauty once again. I fill my vase with the eucalyptus first. I found these flowers on sale at the grocery store. Technically, they were the least desirable ones, but I plan to make an elegant bouquet of them nonetheless. And I dot in these beautiful purple flowers. They're called a wavy leaf sea lavender. Scientific name? Limonium sinuatum. This is a great flower for drying. When I used to visit my grandmother in Cambria, I always loved seeing this flower hanging from the rafters of the local shops. But it also lasts a long time in bouquets. I like to challenge myself by buying the flowers that are on sale and creating an expensive looking bouquet with them. Mission accomplished. We are headed for the enchanted October evening, but first, the kitchen must be put to right. I don't have kitchen duty every night. It switches between my husband, myself, and the kids. But tonight is my night, and I'm going to find the enchantment in it. I find it enjoyable to come downstairs after everyone is in bed, light a candle, and listen to an audiobook while I tidy up. Tonight, I'm listening to the sounds of cleaning and allowing my swirling thoughts to wreathe around my head. October is an enchanting month. The air is different and the path to winter is now well established. Crisp October evenings, I feel enchantment deep. Inspire me again, infuse my dreams in sleep. Thank you for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur. I hope this inspired you to find the enchantment in your everyday life, even in the most mundane tasks. Keep calm and remain classy, and I'll see you next time. Love, Jennifer. Mm -hmm.